you. What? All right. Um, so uh, we got the Ricky Gervais show, season one, episode six. Okay. Okay. Season one, episode six. Yes, <clears throat> cobblers. This yeah, cobblers. Man. Cobblers. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Like, 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 like the like pie. The pie. Okay, 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 okay. Like peach okay. cobblers. Okay. Peach. Okay, okay, okay. Delicious. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. I love, I love a good cobbler, especially peach. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I know you could throw you make cobblers some other ways. I just can't think of it right now. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a peach no. cobbler. I don't no. know about peach cobbler. Maybe apple. Is that an apple cobbler? I don't know. Maybe it's apple. It should be an apple. There's a peach. There's an apple. It should be every apple fruit. Apple pie. Yeah. Maybe that's a pie. Yeah. yeah. All right. Either way, I like those two. All right, man. Let's go. You ready? Yep. Ricky Gervais, <laughs> Stephen Merchant, that, that and Carl Pilkington have Something been meeting like, regularly you know, like meat. for a series of pointless <laughs> conversations. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I was thinking casserole. Right? Casserole, okay. okay. That that sense. Sense. Cool. But Hello and welcome but to the Ricky Gervais Show it's like, with me, Ricky Gervais, like Stephen yes. Merchant, Hello. and yes. the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. Hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, Joe from Bradford asks, what body parts can you live without? He wants to know. He's obviously having oh sleepless God. nights thinking about this. <laughs> what, so? Oh. <sighs> With a brain. <laughs> brain. He's coped this far. <laughs> yeah, I did a bit of an experiment on this, right? Brilliant. It's my job at home to, to wash up, right? Suzanne does. She gives you all the really big responsible ones. <laughs> yeah. she, she, she sort of like pays the bills and wires the house. And she go, you go, what can I do? And you can go, well, you can go and play with the worms in the garden. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so it's my job to, to wash up and that, right? And um, I thought to sort of make it interesting and stuff, uh, I thought, I wonder if I can do it, right? If I didn't have any thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> what? And so what did you do? So I just sort you of You sliced did off it. your thumbs. I, I just sort of <laughs> held them in. And it's amazing how, like, it took me ages <laughs> just having like, that one thing gone. Well, it's part of our evolution, the opposable thumb. <laughs> Basically, that's yeah. when we soared. Th 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 these are milestones in human uh, evolution, the opposable thumb, the, the forward-facing eyes, the upright. Th these, are, these are massive things in, in taking us out of the animal kingdom. And uh, one day, uh, Carl, you'll walk upright. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you mean about eyes facing forward? You mean... Before we got here, there was people who, whose eyes were looking in their head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, when you were doing this experiment, washing up, no. um, you say that you found it difficult, it took you ages. So you, you, didn't, you didn't just give, give up once you realised how essential thumbs were. No, you actually washed up everything. <laughs> I just think of Suzanne walking in and Carl's there, just covered in water and, and very <laughs> liquid suds, standing on a pile of broken crockery. Yeah, lun plunging his face into the sink every three, 30 seconds and just swishing his head around. <laughs> <laughs> but we talked about the, the washing up thing before, I don't know, and uh, I sort of look out out of a window, so the sink's in front of the window. Yeah. And that's why I quite like washing up, because I can just look out onto the street, see people going past. There's, like, a local homeless fella called Franco. <laughs> you know, I look out, but he's all right and everything. Sure. But I was looking across the way, right? Franco. <laughs> and there's some, uh, sort of, there's some Chinese people who live on in a flat, right? Really small flat. And they're up till all hours. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but they, they decide to back up at about half three in the morning. Oh, it's right. really noisy in that. But above them... There was some woman, right, who, um, the sort of bedroom is on par to our kitchen, right? Yeah. So I'm sort of washing up. Yeah. And I sort of look across and see see this woman with, uh, like, you know, no no pants on and that, no no bra <laughs> and that. Naked. Yeah, just... That's the word you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's just wandering about, you know, on that. So I was like, oh, what's going on there? So I kept, carried on washing up and that, right? And uh, <laughs> kept looking, and then I was looking, and she looked at me. Right, so we made eye contact. Sure. So I was like, "Oh God!" Right. So um, <laughs> what I thought the best thing to do was uh, was sort of drop me pants a little bit, 
<laughs> just just a little bit, just like you know, I had boxer shorts on and that. I thought if I just show a little bit of, little bit of sort of arse cheek, Stupid. then it's kind of like, <laughs> like we quits. Right? I don't understand the thinking. So, so Suzanne's watching the telly, right? I think she was watching Sex in the City or something. Yeah. She sort of turns around <laughs> to see how I'm getting on with the washing up, right? She sees me with like my pants sort of down a little bit with my arse out. <laughs> she said, What are you doing? I said, Don't look now. I said, But there's a woman over the road, right? We know pants on and that. She caught me looking. I'm just giving her a bit back. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he explains the rules. And Suzanne's about to go, Okay, that makes sense. But I don't, so, so hang on, so you, you, you showed a bit of your arse. You turned, presumably, to show the arse. So well, I just, the arse out the woman. I had to uh, lift it up a little bit on the sort of on the draining board. What? Hang on, though. <laughs> what, um, what, what did she do? Did you register her reaction when she saw a bit of your arse? What happened? When she saw my arse? Yeah. Well, then I wasn't looking because I thought... In a way, I don't want I don't want it to look like. Well, I've seen a bit of your stuff. Here's a bit of mine. I just look. thought at the end of the day, I caught a glance of you. It's only fair. You've had a bit back. You know, I'm not you see, a big I, deal I, out I do only think fair. James Stewart missed a trick here in Rear Window. Yeah, this would have been, yeah. you know, a much better film had James Stewart just popped his pants down. It would have given a whole new meaning to the to the title Rear Window. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's tricky though. I seem to be surrounded by people like that. Remember that film, that slither, sliver or something? OK, right. When, when they've got video cameras. Yeah. I'm just looking onto everybody's world and just seeing what people are getting up to. There's nothing wrong with that. Brilliant. That's why I like washing up. <laughs> <laughs> A voyeur. <laughs> you were talking about famous mantras and sayings and things. Yeah. Uh, Never has a mank said so much to so many that means so little. Brilliant. So you can have that on your uh, headstone. Rupert. Your little round headstone. <laughs> <laughs> Rupert's in so the Isle of Man. He says, I don't know if you knew this, Carl, but apparently octopuses' testicles are located in their heads. Uh, <laughs> what? But then, to me, that isn't that, that amazing, cos at the end of the day, an octopus, really, all it is is an head. <laughs> 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 Everything it's got has to be it in the head. It has to be in the head. It'd look daft if they dangled down below. <laughs> right? Yeah. So what, right. all it is, is I mean, there's a lot Hang of facts. It, it, it looked daft if they dangled down below. There's, I'm wondering if that could almost be the B-side to uh, B -side I Could Eat a Knob at Night. I Could Eat a Knob at Night. <laughs> they are, they're just ahead. They're James just Round says, Carl, yeah. if you could be anyone in the world, who would it be? Myself. Uh, Carl. Dead or alive. Why would you choose to be a dead person? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but sometimes, like, there's people who, who are now, now dead, but everybody raves about them. What I mean is... If... I'll just answer the question. Who would you be and why? It's someone you no, admire no, no. or you think had a good life. <laughs> just but, answer the but question. But what I mean is it's good to be remembered, like Winston Churchill is remembered yeah. as being a decent bloke, but I wouldn't want the asshole that he had. So I don't want to live his life. Right. But it's good to be... You'd like to be Winston Churchill, but you'd like to have a paper round <laughs> instead of... Uh, 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 <laughs> Saving the world. Yeah. Well, th that's, that's what I mean. But is he saying who would I want to... Whose job would oh. I want to take on? It's not that complicated. The question is this. <laughs> if he could be anyone in the world, who would Carl be? That's the question. That's all the information I've got. <laughs> a lot of responsibility on a lot of <laughs> jobs, isn't they? So, some of the names flowing through your head now? Um, I was thinking... Um, Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> I never expected okay. that! I yeah. never expected that! that he, he, so, when it, what, so his responsibility in your mind is what? Saving uh, people who are trapped in a building with terrorists? <laughs> well, yeah, may, maybe, you know, his, his worries are different worries. With, you know, people who have a lot of money come other worries. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So Bruce Willis... He's always going on these marches, isn't he, saying stop war and all that. Okay, Mainly no. because he's got, you know, he's got more, more to lose if there's a war. He's got loads of houses. One of them's going to get damaged. <laughs> Whereas if you're poor, you've got the one house. If there's a war, it's like, oh, just end it all for me then. I'm sick of it anyway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sure. So with, Whereas with, Bruce, yeah. With, with, with successful life and happy life, there's more for you to lose, is what I'm saying. Right. Like, at the moment, because I've, I've, I've finished a job, that's uh, that I've been at for ten years, right? I've finished working there, so suddenly I've got me, me timetable's a bit out, and I haven't got enough of a routine. And I, I'm a man who likes to know what I'm doing. Right? Yeah. 
So now suddenly... Five I'm, until seven, washing up, with no thumbs. <laughs> I, I like... I've sort of turned into, like, an old person where the little jobs that you shouldn't enjoy are now the main event. So but like, hold on, how old are you? You're 31, aren't you? 32. 32? And you're pottering <laughs> around, not knowing what to do with yourself? Well, like yesterday... Suzanne's shoes needed uh, to go to the cobblers, right? Uh, I haven't heard the word cobblers. I didn't even know cobblers still existed. Cobblers. I only ever see that in Christmas films uh, made by repair. Disney. Well, I had to go and do that, and that suddenly... Because last, t- last time you were going to the toffee okay. shop. It's not a pie. <laughs> and then you went to the cobblers. Next week it's the candlestick maker. Yeah, <laughs> but all, all I mean is, that suddenly is a nice little day out. I'm sort of putting my coat on, going, right, I'll go to the cobbler now yeah. and go and have a chat. Tell me about the cobbler. You didn't come back with three magic beans, did you? <laughs> no, the, the cobbler's, <laughs> cobbler's all right. Three he's, you know, he's doing, you know, he's fixing cobbling. shoes and that. He's cobbling, um, he's cobbling all day. Have I told you about uh, my Uncle Alf, yeah, who was a cobbler? No. I'm sure I told you about him. He's, he's the one who, um, he lived in like a, a bed set and he had two tellies. He had, he had like one that, that the sound didn't work on oh, and right. one that the picture didn't. But both together, it worked. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So as long as he was watching the, right, the same channel on both, sound came out of one telly and he'd watch the picture on the other. Brilliant. And he slept in like a, a rubber dinghy. <laughs> right? <laughs> But, but he was... He Whoa! Was, you can't just let that slide. Why are you uh, listening to the thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just like boats and stuff, and uh, he sort of... <laughs> yeah, I like boats, but they're better on the water. Beds are better to sleep on. Boats are better to sail on. Well, he just, he just had it in there. It's a bed set. It was really tight space. Boat set. He's got this... He's got this he moved into you know, a dinghy set. He's got this dinghy, so he's thinking, well, rather than it getting away, I might as well use it. Yeah. Right? Uh, but he was, a, he was a cobbler. And he, he used <laughs> to, like, repair, like, my shoes and that, right? Yeah. But it, it always sort of overdo them. Right, so... <laughs> what do you mean? Like, um, <laughs> Fancy. Do you know, like, Pimp My Ride on MTV? Yeah. Because he does up shoes, he'd go mental on them. What do you mean? There was a the stereo, yeah. Well, no, there was horns. Here comes Carl Pilkington. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here comes Mr Pilkington. He's got the fastest yeah. shoes in the land. No, he'd just make shoes that would last forever. So instead of putting, like, one sole on, He'd put about five on. So you, it looked like one of them built up shoes <laughs> that you never see. He'd just put loads of stuff on. They'd last forever. But they did. But they looked like I, orthopedic I was, shoes. Yeah, yeah. It just like, they, suddenly I, I was like six foot seven <laughs> whenever he'd sort of sorted my shoes out. But he's, he's a uh, copper and, you know, it's work that's, that's always, always uh, there for you, isn't it? I uh, suppose so. Uh, so you went out with to, 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 to take uh, Suzanne's shoes to the cobbler? Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so I just oh, took God. them to the cobblers and that. And that, that was, a, like, a nice little job for the day. Um, I got a leaflet through the door saying, you know, if you want to walk a dog, you know, the, the rates are good. I don't know what they, what they pay and that. And I thought, if I do that and get a paper round, two in one. Sorry, <laughs> you just went from a job, right, where you were the head of production at... A radio station, dare I say it? On, I, I, I can I discuss your. Uh, well, it was an all right wage. Yeah. It was very good. But I wasn't happy, so it's pointless. No, I know that. <laughs> but to go from the head of a department on a lot of money <laughs> to <laughs> walking dogs and doing a paper round, I, I don't know. No, I, but it's about being happy, isn't it? I know, but that's that's commendable if that's true. But it, okay. And oh, that right. makes you happy. <laughs> well, okay. I, haven't, I haven't walked the dog yet, but I'm just saying if I do... I mean, I'm not taking it if it's raining. I'm just thinking if it's a nice sunny day and I fancy a potter, I'll, I'll go round to her and say, well, how much are you paying? I'll take te- te- the dog a walk and sure. stuff. But I, I can't believe some of the words that have cropped up. Potter, cobblers, toffee shop. It, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's very, very strange. Do you live in Narnia? <laughs> 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 Uh, a lot Trying of people them, sort of emailing in sort of brainy stuff. Brilliant. And getting a lot of stuff about uh, philosophy. Oh, yeah. And all that. Um, okay. Descartes, that's another one that's mentioned on an email. Descartes, yeah. the French philosopher. Yeah. <laughs> what was, was, was what's your question? Well, he, he sort of cropped up on an email. Someone said, uh, what do you think of, of him? And I was like, oh, I don't know. He um, uh, famously, he, he pondered his his own existence, uh, cogito ergo sum, I think therefore I am. He was thinking about that, he was thinking, how do I know all this is 
true of everything around me. And he thought, uh, well, I can see it and I can smell it and I can hear it. And he went, oh, yeah, my senses can be fooled. I could be dreaming. But if I'm dreaming, then at least I'm alive. At least I have some sort of consciousness. So if I'm even thinking about anything, uh, you know, I am, I exist. I think, therefore, I am. Cogito ergo sum. But we don't need to know <laughs> okay. the Latin bit. Why is everyone always going back to Latin? It was ages ago. <laughs> Why is that language always been... And were Latin people always in a rush? Because they seem to be like words for full sentences. Why couldn't they just set up the time and say what they want to say? <laughs> and it's just like, what, what was the rush? I'd love to teach that. Yeah. What about Plato? Right, Greek. Right, now, would you say he's, he's a bright bloke? Yes, I would. I'd say he's a very, very bright bloke. Right, let me tell you this. <laughs> right, if he's that bright, you know he got killed? No. Got hit on the head by an egg. <laughs> yeah, what? Fucking hell! Well, he's right, not, what, he's what, not so clever then, is he? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> What's the story with the egg? He was on holiday or something, right? And. Uh, he was on holiday. In Greece, probably. He was, at, he was having a walk about and a bird was flying over the sort of. This bird was what? A great orc? What, what, <laughs> so, what size bird killed him with his was, egg? He was a big one, yeah. Was it? And, and the way they used to crack... Well, an ostrich on a hang glider. The way they used to crack the <laughs> eggs open to let the kids out, they used to drop them on rocks. <laughs> what bird is this? <laughs> Dropping its egg to let the kids out? You're a maniac! You are a maniac! And Plato oh. had a little bald head. Oh, shit. Right. So from the top, the bird's there looking yeah. down, and it goes, oh, there's, there's a little rock, I'll drop the egg. Hit him on the head. Killed him. Now, this is what I was saying before about... <laughs> I mean, what well, I'm letting too much go now, because I'm so desensitised to his nonsense, I let him go. The bird uh, saw Plato and said, there's a rock down there. Yeah. Well, if he's dropping, if these birds are killing people with bald heads, you've got to be terrified. So, but listen, this is what I'm saying, though, right? Before, about knowledge and that, how, how knowledge is, is hassle or success is That's hassle. That, I, now, that, I think that was Newton... <laughs> Knowledge, knowledge is hassle. Is hassle. Now, what, <laughs> but, but why, why is, is Plato's intelligence is got anything hassle. to do with the fact that this bird dropped it? Because, because he was intelligent and he's probably earning a nice few quid yeah. by giving out whatever messages he gave out, yeah. he could afford to go on holiday to exotic places. If he was working in a factory, he wouldn't have been on this beach with big birds dropping eggs, <laughs> is what I'm saying. So, in a way, it backfired. His knowledge killed him. And that, I think, was Kierkegaard. His knowledge killed him. He, he shouldn't have been on the beach. He was only there having a break or whatever from doing what he does. It wouldn't have happened if he wasn't on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> uh, this is an email we've had saying, um, Carl, what do you take by the uh, well-known saying, a stitch in time saves nine? Oh, a stitch in time saves nine. Yeah. See, uh, it's another one that I don't, I don't think I've picked up on a lot of these sayings that are being sort of thrown about willy-nilly. Um, willy-nilly? <laughs> willy-nilly. <laughs> OK. Willy-nilly. No, yeah. no, but I, I, again, <laughs> one of them, like, like last willy week, nilly. I've heard of it. Yeah, but, but, but what I've does willy-nilly mean? It just sort of means, you know, carefree. That's right, yeah. So OK, but what good. does a stitch in time so say? So you understood willy-nilly, so yeah, you right, used yeah. a phrase. Yeah, I mean, nice, you used it, it, you said it willy nilly But um, <laughs> you, you sort of got the gist of it. So what does a stitch in time saves nine mean? I, I, I don't know. You what do you mean you know. don't know? Think about it. A stitch in time saves nine. Is it to do with sewing? Well, yeah, sort of. Uh, so okay, if, it's not that clear. So if, not... You got a, so if you've got a jacket yeah. and the seam starts coming undone, oh, there's a little bit of seam, I'll leave it. Oh, it's getting worse and right, worse. Right. Soon your sleeve falls off. So you just need one stitch there, that'll do it. If you do it now later, you'll need nine stitches. And that, of course, uh, is an analogy to other things. But it depends if you're busy at that point, because if you've got, <laughs> if you've got something else that needs doing, that means that isn't being done because you're messing about putting sort out a hole in your coat, is what I mean. He doesn't understand. You can't always do stuff straight away. So maybe... I don't know. I don't know if there's a, a, a sort of a middle ground where you don't have to do it straight away, but stitching a stitch sometimes time, today, say in fifteen or whatever, meaning yeah. you don't have to do it straight away, but just do it before it gets really bad. Brilliant. 
Do you think yours is less poetic than, than A Stitch in Time Saves Nine? No, so no, yours no. is, this is what you want it to be a quote, right? Well, well you could do it now, but if you're doing something else, then, uh, you know, look, well, well, don't do it immediately, but do it soon so it doesn't get really bad. Carl Pilkington. No, but it's the same, <laughs> that's the same way I treat most things in life. It's like I never go to the doctor's. Unless it's really That is sensible. Hard. That is very good advice. No. That is really good advice <laughs> well, for anyone is, listening. Though. Never go to the doctors. Unless it's really bad. But that's why a lot of people, you know, um, die, because they don't want to bother the doctor or they're mildly embarrassed or they don't know um, symptoms, bad symptoms. Go to the doctor if, 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 you, if you're not sure about something. Like, you were terrified to go and have your prostate. Still not been. Not doing it. Why not? I wish you wouldn't talk oh, about it, because now before, Suzanne yeah, will listen yeah. to this. And she'll go, oh, yeah, you haven't been, and start dragging it up again. But why are you worried <laughs> about a, a little, uh, a, a qualified doctor? I don't know what they're doing up there. What? They what just pop their... <laughs> they... <laughs> what are you talking about? They pop their finger up. That's what I mean, though. Why? Why are they still using the index finger? <laughs> <laughs> what, would, would you prefer the forefinger or the thumb, would no. you? Uh, We've got or a oh. thumb on a stick, some kind of thumb on a stick. You, you yeah, would you prefer it to a be mechanical thumb? <laughs> a robot <laughs> thumb. Why isn't it just a little camera? Well, they well, put the camera up if, if they initially discover something. But just put the camera up straight away. No, they don't the need visit. to. They pop the finger up, feel that the prostate isn't swollen, wiggle it around a little bit. Up your, uh, 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 up your back passage. They, what I, just, you I, I don't think <laughs> they, they need to do. Are that you embarrassed? In are you embarrassed about being in a room with your trousers around your ankles and a little fellow popping? A his... little bit. Yeah. Why? And the other thing is, it's not just that, is it? So you go in there, they check your heart out and that, which to me is the most important thing, because that's what keeps you going, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You've got to go there. You yeah. sat on the bus, stressing out, thinking, oh. In less than half an hour, I'm going to have a finger up your ass, right? <laughs> what is the problem, And they go though? in, they check your heart, they probably <laughs> check your testicles and that. What's up with that? They check your testicles, yeah. That's... Yeah, but it's all building, and you, you've sat there going, oh, soon that'll, that'll be happening. Yeah. And that's what puts me off. So if they just came round when you were asleep, <laughs> Suzanne just let them in and goes, he's over there, right? Yeah. And they crept up and went, <laughs> bang, you know what you're doing? That. I just don't understand why they don't teach you how to do it yourself. That'd be mad. How can they? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I did. Imagine you squatting in a corner with one hand on your bollocks and the other finger up the arse, going, "It seems to be all right, Carl." <laughs> you don't understand the phrase "a stitch in time saves nine." I don't think you should be doing any kind of invasive medical research in your own human body. But but then who knows the... what trouble you're going to cause? No, but then at least... you would get stuck. Yeah. You would get stuck. If Susanna come out, <laughs> your fist would be up your own arse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's probably time. I've just let me just check my watch. Yeah, it's monkey news time. Oh, chimpanzee that <laughs> monkey news, yeah. So this week, anyway, it's about it's more about tall buildings and stuff. Oh yeah. It was this bloke who was a builder. Oh yeah. Right? And uh, you know what builders are like? They sort of move about, don't they? From from sort of building to building, just building. <laughs> well, yeah, well, once they've built it, the building's done and they move on to build some more. Building, building, well, building, yeah. So he goes to his next job and that, right? Who does? The builder? The builder. Yep. He goes to, like, the, 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 boss, new building. the boss of this building who's building it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> OK. Yeah. And he, and he says what unto him? Do you need anything building? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Right. Yeah. So anyway, so he says, uh, he says, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of work and that going about. Yep. He says, we're working on this one here. He said, uh Get going on it, like, there's your bricks and your cement and stuff, get on with it. Yeah. So the... So Any plans? So ah. they, so they just build. Just, just start building. <laughs> yeah. Go up. They're getting on with it and stuff, it's all going well. Right? Yep. Um, but he notices that there's someone working high up, mm. right, on, on the <laughs> okay. top bit. So anyway, he's, he's saying to, like, the other workers, he's going, what's... Who's that up there? Who's that up like, there? He's, yeah. he's working on his own. The little, what, the little fella, was he? And, the uh, little hairy fella up there. Who's the little hairy fella up there with the top, uh, hard hat? And, and the other fellas <laughs> are going, look, you know, don't ask questions, you know, the boss decides who he takes on. We're happy mm. to be getting paid here. <laughs> don't ask questions! <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll see him when he comes down. So he said, well, it's pretty impressive, you know, the, the work rate he's doing, the way he's getting from one girder to the other. <laughs> he Swinging, seem, is he? He doesn't seem to be scared <laughs> of the heights or anything. He said, no, just let him get on with it. You know, we work well as a team. So anyway... <laughs> what nonsense is so, this? So, oh, he believes all this. Yep. So he sees the boss and he goes, that fella up there, who's the fella up there? He's, he's pretty good. And he's like, look, you know, just get on with the job. Yeah, I'll pay you. Let's just all get on with our jobs and that. <laughs> Lunchtime comes, they're all sat there, sat on a little wall, having the sandwiches, he's thinking he'll come down in a bit. He's yeah. just carrying on. Yeah. Is he? He's just still going? Still yeah. going on that, right? <laughs> so, the fella says to the boss man, he says, isn't that fella up there uh, 
Can I come down and join us for lunch? He said, uh, he said, like I said, mate, don't don't worry about him. Yeah. Right? He's yeah, very secretive. I'm suspicious about this fella. I don't know, yeah, so, I don't know, why, I don't know why he's working through his lunch. I don't know why he's not scared of heights. I don't know why he's swinging from girder to girder. It's weird. Go on. So he said, oh, anyway, you've reminded me that he's up there. He said um, he's doing a lot of riveting and stuff up there. He probably needs some more nuts to... Uh, right, sure. And what kind of nuts is that? Is that nuts to food or...? So he said, what, nuts? He said, yeah, just uh, there's a bag full of them there. Just, just put them on the hook, send them up, and he can get on with his job. So anyway, he picks these nuts up. Nuts, right? yeah. Just ups them on. He thinks they're not that heavy, no. considering, you know, I mean, they're normally pretty heavy, aren't they? Like nuts big and bolts nuts, and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, he has a little glance in. Oh, no, what's in there? Nuts. What, you mean nuts that you can eat? Nuts that you can eat. Oh. <laughs> so they send the bag up, and he's thinking, what's all that about? He checks him out, starts to stare, works it out. You can see that he's a little chimp running about, so he goes, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> Why isn't he? Because he's working for an organisation that's, you know, there's unions for this sort of stuff, isn't there? <laughs> That's amazing. They've got a chimp riveting this building together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not scary. He's wondering if they're breaking union rules. So he, he, go, he goes... Union half-talk. So he goes, shit, and has a with he the goes boss. to the boss and he goes, look, I've worked out what you're playing at here. Yeah. He said, all oh, them Is the there. boss sitting in a tyre? <laughs> so he goes, look, you know, we're just all trying to earn a living here. He said, uh, don't get involved in it. I'm happy to pay you. I'm paying him. Don't, don't interfere. He's paying him? And he's saying, look, I, I'm just not happy with this. It's, it's not allowed. So the boss was saying, well... We pay honest, peanuts, mate, we get monkeys. He said, to be honest, mate, you know, uh, he's a great worker. <laughs> he's known for doing what he does. He's a good grafter. <laughs> if one of you's going to go, right, I'm afraid I'll have to let you go, cos he's, he's been here longer than that. Yeah. He was made redundant None of that of happened. He, he, was, he was laid off. None of that happened. <laughs> laid off and that. And that's no. where that saying about... Um, you know, like, there's a lot of tower blocks and that in America. It's not like a, a chimp off the old block. Is is where? <laughs> where <laughs> where <laughs> that's monkey news. Uh, 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 <laughs> had to be, had to be just playing. <laughs> Chip Chip off. Off. Oh, black. My God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Well, Carl stories, there is... There is a lot of... You there's know, some truth in his stories. There's monkey I, news. Yeah, man. You in know, all of his monkey news, there's a sliver of truth. Okay. That's what I was going to go back to. Because that I mean, some of them, you know, maybe seem believable, but... This is hard. Yeah. This one here. <laughs> had him up there drilling it. <laughs> and then, who would he... <laughs> Who's the one person that he would be? Other than Bruce himself? Willis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why the hell would you be Bruce Willis? What is Bruce Willis? <laughs> uh, what is Bruce Willis doing right now? He's like in some... It was either him or Winston Churchill. <sighs> Just be yourself, Carl. Just be yeah, yourself. You treasure my friend. And then this is before he actually got the uh, prostate exam from Frank. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. Interesting. I guess the show was going on at the same time. Was it? Well, I, I think this was before. Yeah. Maybe okay. a couple years before. Definitely. I remember these men back on HBO, man. Jesus, That'd be dope show. if you can, um, if you could teach yourself to give yourself a prostate exam. Hmm. Like, okay, maybe you can't teach yourself. I think by now, I think by now, I think that you should probably, that's probably one procedure. That you, yeah, that you maybe should you could perform on yourself. Yeah, it's just a, it's a finger like, if I'm, you're feeling for something. Now I don't know, like do, do all prostates feel differently? I don't know. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Not, like I, I don't know where to feel. That's the thing. So maybe maybe not. But let me ask you this: if that's you're just how I feel, if like, you're a doctor, if you're a doctor that gives prostate exams, can you give yourself a prostate exam? You probably can. Now, because you know what you would be looking for. So it can be taught. So you're looking for a particular thing where you're looking for something in particular or, or, or <laughs> that is not <laughs> that is not familiar. <laughs> I just can't imagine. I'm digging my own ass. <laughs> is that what I was felt in the... <laughs> Go a little bit further. <laughs> 
But yeah, I guess shit. Oh, if you have the proper man. training, shit, you can give yourself a prostate exam. Definitely. Just gotta know what Everybody should have the training. Shit. Give yourself give yourself a monthly prostate exam. Just ah, yeah. ah, and just wipe your finger off. Disinfect your finger. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got a finger. Everybody's got an asshole. Well mostly everybody. Everybody has an asshole. Who doesn't have an asshole? What the fuck? <laughs> He's in mostly everybody. Uh, uh, Some scary ass people. shit. <laughs> you ain't got an asshole. You an alien. Nah, man. He's got a little bag on the side. Maybe you don't poop at all. 